the conditions today are terrible. I'm stood behind this pole right now to block myself from the wind which is coming around this way. Um, but as you can see from behind me and stuff, like yeah, some of the um, barriers and stuff around the stadium have all completely fallen down. Um, it's a bit of a grim day, but it's a cup final day and I'm hoping for a really good atmosphere and a really entertaining game of football. Whatever happens today, it's gonna to be huge. Aberdeen haven't won this competition since 2014 when they beat Inverness Caledonian Thistle on penalties and Rangers haven't won it since 2011 when Kichi Jelovic was still playing for the club. Two Aberdeen supporters, how does it feel being in this final? Quite exciting, because we've not done very well all season. <laughs> and you've not won this competition since 2014? Yes, exactly. You're up against sort of big rivals today, Rangers. Would it be even more of an achievement to beat them, yes. as opposed to Inverness Cali Thistle it was Absolutely. last time? Absolutely, I'll be beating any team in a final school. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. And like you say, um, the season hasn't been great, but if Barry Robson wins this trophy, then... It might be the season for us. Happy with the job Clement's doing? Yes, awesome. And what's the score going to be today? 3-1. You must be pretty happy with things right now, the big win in Europe during the week. Definitely, I the team played really well. Wednesday there were other injuries and up against the Spanish La Liga side. Yeah, of course. Can you see them having a European hangover though? Yeah, um, not today, no. no. Think they'll be up for it? No chance. And it's always people say that Aberdeen play better against Rangers, mm. but it's a cup final today. Do you think that makes a big I, difference. I don't think they play better, I think they fight harder. A couple of Aberdeen fans, obviously, as I can see, repping the colours today, I like it. How would you say the season's going for Aberdeen? Quite good. Yeah, hit or miss sometimes. Hit or miss in the league, but yeah. you're doing okay. We did yeah. okay in Europe, had a few good results, Thursday but you're obviously out. Uh, Thursday was good. Yeah. What a win against a big team. Yeah. Um, but how much would it mean to you to win a trophy at Hamden uh, against Rangers? So good. Are you expecting a European hangover today? No. Definitely not. We should be on a high. Okay. We should be on a high. Yeah, absolutely. But Aberdeen have a good record against you this season. Do you think that will come into it today? Nah, it's a different game today. It's a cup final. Anything can happen. Nah, it's, it's after the high we've got, and obviously them, them losing points yesterday. Um, I mean, we win our two games in hand. That's it. We're It'll tough. be. Like, we're tough. And do you think this kind of like competition, if you win this, could it kick start? A That's bit of success it. for Clement because it happened with Postecoglou at Celtic. He yeah. won this competition against Hibs around this time a couple of years ago, and then yeah. he went on to win a double and then a treble. Absolutely, I think this is a major kickstart opportunity. He wins us today. Um, we win our two games in hand. Win Old Firm. We're flying, absolutely flying. And as we keep winning, looking at the treble slash quadruple. And are you confident? Yeah. You are for a cup final. Two yeah. one for Aberdeen and yeah, I said two one. Two one as well. Gordon, huge game today. Rangers, Aberdeen, both had fairly up and down seasons. What have you made of their form? I'm a bit worried about the conditions, first and foremost. Yeah. We're getting blown away here already, but um, yeah, I think both fans will be buzzing because of what they both did during the week. Sets them up nicely, so I think both sets of fans arrive here confident, albeit, you're right, if you look over the course of the season, Rangers fans have had some ropey moments, Aberdeen fans have certainly had some bad moments, yep. so it's going to be really interesting. I think they will both fancy it. Find out what happens. And obviously, um, it's a big rivalry between the two teams. And Aberdeen, and I heard this on Clyde One Super Scoreboard the last time they played each other. Do you think Aberdeen really play better against Rangers? Like, what what do you make of that whole conversation? Because you had loads of people phoning yeah, in, didn't you? Rangers fans annoyed about it. And there's definitely I don't get it. In. I think there's mm -hmm. definitely a rivalry there for sure. So, whether that becomes a like a subconscious thing where you know it just adds more to the occasion, I mean, I doubt anyone. Without Dante Polvara or Bojan Miofsky and know the history of the rivalry and think, oh, I'm going to try harder than this one. But today I think it's a bit different. It's a cup final, so I don't think there's any any extra motivation or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be going to be interesting. But if Aberdeen do win, then for sure there'll be plenty of discussions about raising their game. Of well, course. Frank Frankfurt might have something to say about that as well. True, and uh, Barry Robson's been under a little bit of pressure from where obviously Aberdeen are in the league. Clement, he's just come in, but he's turned things around fairly well. How big would it be for both managers to win this competition today? I think you just look at the significance of silverware in Glasgow, obviously. Philippe Clement has done very little wrong, but that can all go wrong if he doesn't yep. win the silverware trophies in the cabinet. That's kind of what you're, you're judged on in Glasgow. And then for Aberdeen, out with Glasgow, you're probably talking the next biggest set of expectations, a club that fans think haven't won enough silverware. In fact, it was this competition, wasn't it, back in 2014. So massive for both, really, really huge for both managers.
here's the scram for today. We've got a little kind of deconstructed pie, with some nice bits of meat in there, a bit of mashed gravy peas. <sighs> Ian, we meet again at a League Cup final. I think it was the League Cup final that we first met last season. Things have changed a lot, obviously, um, for Rangers who are in that final. What do you think about them going into today? Well, they certainly improved considerably under Philip Clement. I like the look of him, the way he speaks, the way he conducts himself. He looks like a proper manager. He's got the aura of a Rangers manager as well, I feel. He's done really well, obviously top in the group in Europe, fantastic. Starting to win in the league, obviously the players are brought into his philosophy. And you know, now he could win a, win a trophy and it's going to be a tough final. I think Aberdeen have got a really good chance as well. But you know, um, it would certainly cap off what's been a remarkable start for Philippe Clement if he wins. And Aberdeen, um, obviously, they, they're ninth, are they, in the league? Or yeah, down that way, aren't they? They're down towards the bottom of the league, which I don't think is really where they should be. I feel like Europe's probably held them back a lot this year. Definitely. I don't think they'll be down there for long. I think they've struggled as many teams do, uh, not just in Scotland, but in England, uh, to cope with a Thursday, mm -hmm. Sunday scenario. It is difficult when you haven't got a big squad yep. and you have to you know, play the same players virtually all the way. Um, you know, it's happened before, it'll happen again. And I do think Aberdeen will move up the table. It wouldn't surprise me if they were third or fourth come the end of it all. And what a big opportunity for them today. You know, they've been to so many cup finals. Mm -hmm. Always end up against the old firm, usually so yeah. because of it. But this is a good chance. And yeah, they've been so hit and miss at times this season. It must certainly frustrate the fans, but I, I can assure you it would frustrate Barry as well. And you know, as, as a man, he's not been a manager for long. If he can win a trophy, fantastic. So the stories on both sides are there. Here we go. Huge day for number 45, Ross McCausland for Rangers. Obviously, he's been in the team quite a lot for them. He's played some big games already, but to be starting a final at his young age, what an achievement for him, and it shows what Philippe Clement thinks about him. Rangers in Aberdeen's own box. Hi there, Jeff Holmes, uh, Rangers author, along with Stephen Miller. We've written a book called All About the Rangers. Uh, from 1960, it was published in the Scottish Daily Express. It's a series of comic strips uh, detailing the first 75 years of Rangers' existence. And we've decided to bring it out for charity for Alzheimer's Scotland and the Rangers Charity Foundation. Amazing. So anybody uh, watching? Yeah, you can Where can they find us? You can go on my Twitter and say at JeffH. Amazing. 1960. Thank Perfect. So anybody watching, go and check that out. So yes. we're here, obviously, approaching half time. Yep. It's nil nil. It's been quite a cagey game in a lot of ways on the pitch. What have you thought so far? I think so. It seems that it seems that some of the players are a bit more concerned about making a, a fatal mistake than actually doing something doing something the other end. But I mean, it's I think I think it's going to liven up after the break, and I think it's going to become. Well, it's good. They're going to have, somebody's going to have to have a breakthrough somewhere because we don't want extra time and penalties. We don't want extra time and penalties. We want this one wrapped up. And if Rangers are to win it, who's going to be the hero, do you think, today? Well, do you know, I would, I would hope it would be Serio Dessas because he's been playing well recently. He scored, he scored, a couple, he scored a really good goal against him last Saturday. He scored a cracker in Betis during the week. I would love to see that renaissance uh, you know, continuing because he's a kind of much maligned player from the start of his time at Rangers and uh, I want him to keep winning over the fans. Thank you. 
Time and it is Rangers nil, Aberdeen nil. Oh, a huge chance for Aberdeen, flashes across the face there. Aberdeen could easily have gone ahead. Dessers, oh, what a save from Roos. The atmosphere has been really, really good at this game today, and it's still nil-nil. There's been a lack of like real clear-cut chances. The best chance of the second half, the force the best save is probably Tav's free kick from the edge of the box. Um, but yeah, either side have really not created a huge amount. Atmosphere has been really good. But remember, for Rangers, they haven't won this trophy since they got put down the divisions, which means if they do win this, they'd have won the league, the cup, and the league cup. Whereas for Aberdeen. They've lacked any real success since the 80s when Ferguson was here. Yes, they've won a couple or two here or there. But it's there for the taking for both teams. If anyone can be brave, do something great, and do something special, they can become a hero. There's about 20 minutes left. Scott Wright's coming on. His old team are booing him. His current team are cheering him. And he loves scoring at Hamden. Celebrations are wild in there. Rangers now on the cusp of winning this competition for the first time since 2011. Aberdeen fans still singing to cheer on their team, but a really good goal from the captain for Rangers. Look at this. Keepers up. Oh, it's across the line. What is going on? Oh, that could have been very close. Look at the scramble going on in there. Oh. Scrap going on in the goal. Almost all of the 22 players are inside that goal right now. There's the attendance, and it just came up before that. Dujon Sterling, man of the match. Fair play to him being centre mid for the last couple of games. He's actually been really good.
Father, son. Father, yeah. son, yeah. You enjoyed today, I take it. Brilliant. 100%, yeah. Had to dig in deep. Uh, hard fought. It was one of those cup finals, it was, wasn't a classic, was it? But you got the job done no, in the end. That's the team of winners right there, because that took gut. Do you think this can kickstart a bit of success now for the club I, with Clermont? I think so. I think it's been a hell of a week. It was a gutsy performance, it was a winning performance, and it was a winning mentality. So, so, so we march on now. And how does it feel seeing Rangers lift this trophy in the flesh? Because it was 2011 when they last won it. Oh. Nikita Jelovic was playing for you, David Weir. Walter yeah, Smith was the manager, Celtic, it was against Celtic He here. was about this big. <laughs> yeah, I still am about that big. But, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, what do you think about that? It was, fa it was fantastic. Brilliant, fantastic. It brought back a lot of memories. And, uh, that, especially Tab with the yeah. goal. And everything. Yeah, he scored yeah. the goal. It wasn't a penalty or free kick from open play I as well. Know. James, you've now won the League, the Cup and the League Cup, obviously. Uh, how does that make you feel? Yeah, obviously it's long overdue. Um, delighted that we've won the, the, the first um, well, the first silverware that we've come in this season, so delighted with that. Um, yeah, just really proud of the team and um, of what we what we can achieve this season. Do you think um, you'll really be, really be able to kick on now, like you say, that first piece of silverware, the League, the Europa League? There's still a lot to play for. Yeah, lots, lots to play for. Um, you know, still in December, we've had a massive week this week, top in the group and won the first uh, silverware, so you know, the sky's the limit for the team and we just got to really push each other and the gaffer's going to be right right there pushing us as well to, to you know, achieve bigger and better things. Speaking of the gaffer, how's it been under his uh, under his tenure so far? Yeah, it's, it's been really positive, you've, you've seen the performances and the results that we've been getting, we're all buying into what, he, what he's uh, wanting from us and that's the thing, it's not just like the Stein 11, it's the full squad that are really buying into it and really pushing each other behind the scenes where you don't see it and we're all gathering as a, as a squad and you know, really demanding from each other. Perfect, congratulations. Cheers, Look at this, we're in the media section now. And we've just interviewed Tav, we've just interviewed the Rangers captain on the day that they've won the League Cup. Buzzing with that, what an opportunity. Thanks for all the support, by the way. Um, couldn't do this without you guys. We just interviewed Rangers captain James Tavernier on the day that they've won the Scottish League Cup. I don't always get nervous. I've interviewed so many people now, but then like in that little mix zone there where all the players were coming out, I could feel my heart going, my hands were shaking a little bit, but I hope you enjoyed the interview. Um, it was short and sweet, but just to get him on the video, one absolute honor. Um, he scored so many goals on this channel, so many crucial goals that have won Rangers games that have made my videos do better. And it's just, he's helped me out massively. Not that he probably knows it because I can't imagine he watches too many of my videos, um, but just amazing um, to chat to someone who has indirectly helped me out so much with the goals that he scored with the performances he's put in um, and then to chat to him on the day that he has won the league cup what an honor when i first um started getting like media access for games and stuff um one of the things that i learned early on i was at like a kind of I wouldn't call it a press conference. It was the end of a Kelty Hearts game behind closed doors. Barry Ferguson was the manager and all the press were um, all just in a big huddle asking him questions. And I was too nervous to ask him a question. And so I thought from that moment on, like, I can't miss an opportunity. And when I just saw Tav walking past me, I was like, mate, can I just have 30 seconds? And then bam, we got him for a quick minute. We got him for an interview, absolutely buzzing, um, yeah. What a day for Rangers fans, obviously, who were behind there, and it's all calm in here now, and Aberdeen fans are all around there. It's a shame for Aberdeen. They're a huge club, and I always love covering them. I always love going to Pataudry, um, and I know we just chatted to Tav, and um, the celebration's all Rangers-focused, but a word on Aberdeen. Their fans were amazing today, as they always are. Really, really well-supported club, and um, they're out of Europe now. They're out of this cup. Um, let's hope that we can see them rising up through the league a little bit, um, and maybe get into a European spot um, at the end of this season. And, yeah, a huge thank you to everyone everybody who watches my videos I really do hope you've enjoyed this one especially um, I know a lot of Rangers fans do follow me so um, yeah I'm sure you guys have loved this one um, if you have please could you remember to leave a like subscribe if you aren't already um, I'm gonna leave a couple of videos on screen if you could click one to carry on watching it would really really help me out um, what a day we've had today a huge thanks once again I really really appreciate all the support cheers and goodbye